It's a beautiful day at the Outdoor Discovery Center at the Hudson Highlands Nature Museum in Cornwall, New York. And I'm so excited because we're going to have a special nature tour with one of the tour guides here. But I wonder where they are. Excuse me, are you one of my tour guides? Tour guide? Ha 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 ha! I'm not a tour guide, I'm Dr. Science the world's number one nature scientist. A nature scientist? Wow, that sounds so cool. That's right, I know everything there is to know about nature. Here, I'll give you one right now. Did you know that those clouds in the sky are really ice cream? Oh, vanilla ice cream? Oh, I want some. That doesn't sound right to me, Dr. Science. <laughs> Did you hear that? That animal sound sounded really familiar. Quick, follow me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, boys and girls. <laughs> I thought I heard a hoot hoot. Do you know what animal goes hoot hoot? Hoo hoo. That's right. It's an owl. <laughs> and this is Gus. I'm so excited to learn way more about you. <laughs> Did you know that owls have big, long trunks? And they eat peanuts too? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And they like to pull Santa's sled during Christmas time. Yeah, that's an owl, right? I don't think so, Dr. Science. Look, this is Emily. She's a nature guide, and she knows so much about nature and animals, unlike Dr. Science. So I have a few questions, Emily. Why do owls have such big eyes anyway? Well, they need those big eyes to collect as much light as they can because they are active at nighttime when the sun is not up. At nighttime? Awesome! So when I'm asleep, you're out there trying to get some food, huh, Gus? <laughs> Gus, you're so cool! What other cool things can you do? Well, he's very good at camouflaging. Ooh! Can I see that? Sure. Gus, where are you? Where'd you go? My friend Carl found a very cute, fuzzy critter for you. I love fuzzy critters. Let's go find Carl. Hi, you must be my nature guide, Carl. I'm Ellie, and Emily said you had something fuzzy for me to look at. I do, Ellie. I have a woolly bear. A woolly bear? That doesn't look like a bear to me. I need to know all about it. Did you know that woolly bears live in the forest? And they're really, really big and furry. Oh yeah, and their favorite fruits are gummy bears and big jars of honey. That's a woolly bear, right? I don't think so, Dr. Science. Woolly bears are so tiny. They can't eat a whole jar of honey. <laughs> That's so silly. Tell me more about woolly bears. Actually, it's a caterpillar and it's going to become an Isabella moth. An Isabella moth? What a pretty name, right, boys and girls? Do they sleep like bears? Well, they do, actually. These guys right now are looking for a place to sleep all winter long. And then in April or May, she's actually going to make a cocoon and then turn into an Isabella moth. Awesome! Can I touch her? Sure can. She's a... <gasps> wow! She's super soft. Yeah, so it's not a bear, it's actually an insect. I have more insects over at the pond. You wanna go see? Yes, absolutely. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what a pretty pond. Are we gonna go swimming? Whoa, is that a swimming pool? I'm all ready to go. I got my floaty, my goggles, and I'm ready to jump in. Let's do some cannonballs. Not today, but I do have a dip net, and I'm gonna grab some material from the pond right here. You wanna see if we can find some critters? Yeah! Oh, I think we got something good in here. Let's go put it in the tray. Come on. Look, it's a cute little tadpole. Do you know what tadpoles grow up to be? That's right, frogs. Ribbit. This is called a newt. We found him in the water. How cool is that? He has four legs. One, two, 
three, four. Carl just told me this is a baby dragonfly. I've only seen dragonflies when they're big and flying in the air. I didn't even know they lived in the water. Wow, a snail. He's curled up into a little ball. Don't worry, little snail. I'm your friend. Yes! Oh, we're in luck. Look at this. <gasps> Do you know what this is? I've seen one of those before. It looks really funny. It's a praying mantis, isn't it? It is a praying mantis. But why is it called a praying mantis? Well, that's funny. Some people say because when their arms are together, they look like they're praying. But it's actually for catching other prey. They use those feet to catch <laughs> bugs. They love to eat bugs. Is that why they have big eyes too, so they can see the bugs? Yeah, she actually has really big eyes. And if you notice, she can turn her head from side to side looking for her food. That's awesome! <laughs> How do you know it's a she? Oh, good question. Well, because she's really big, most of the boy praying mantises are much smaller. <laughs> you want to hold it? Yeah! Here. Let's put her over there. It's like a playground for praying mantises. Yes! Here we go. <laughs> Hello, I found you a new home. On this leaf right here. Oh, not on me. I know. Here we go. Whoa, boys and girls, can you find the praying mantis? Yes! She's super camouflaged. All right. Oh, I see Emily. You think this is cool? She's got a reptile I think you're really gonna like. A reptile? Oh, I can't wait to see. Come on. Let's go see Emily. <laughs> Carl said Emily had a reptile for me to see. I wonder what it is. There she is. Hi, Emily. Hi, Ellie. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, this is Kevin. He's a black rat snake. <gasps> Did you know that snakes go ribbit, 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 and they sit on lily pads and they eat flies? Oh yeah, and they have a really long tongue too. So they go like this. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Snakes don't sit on lily pads, Dr. Science. They're so silly. But they do have long tongues. Why do they have long tongues, Emily? Well, they don't just have long tongues. They have tongues that split into two. So they can smell this direction, and they can smell this direction, and they can find out where things are. Awesome! That's so cool, Kevin! <laughs> they must smell a lot of food. What do they eat? They like to eat mice and rats and anything little that they can find, but mostly just meat. Mice and rats? Oh my goodness, do they eat every day? Not every day. Sometimes they eat once a week, sometimes they eat even less. I can't even imagine having only one meal a week. <laughs> I love food too much. <laughs> hey Kevin, let's have a staring contest. Ready, three, two, one, go. Hey, wait a second, you're cheating. You don't have any eyelids. <laughs> Could be so cool. Carl and Emily sure do know a lot about the nature at the museum. What great nature guides! <laughs> yes. ooh, ooh, ooh. Speaking of nature guides, I have one more nature fact for you. Remember, be nice to all animals. Animals live on the earth just like me and you. <laughs> I actually agree with you there, Dr. Science. Oh, you should have seen the owl. It was so cute. It had big eyes, and he could see in the dark and find food. Oh, and there's the woolly bear who's so fuzzy, and it's actually a caterpillar, and it turns into a moth, not a butterfly. Oh, and there's also a tadpole, and a newt. He's kind of slimy. <laughs>